Hi my lovelies! Welcome back to my channel and to today's video. So today's video is slightly different in what has um, inspired it, shall we say? Uh, and why I'm doing this video. So the last couple of weeks I've just like had loads and loads and loads and loads of ideas come on you know my head has just been brimming with them um, I've been struggling a bit health wise this heat is not good for me uh, so I've not been doing loads uh, I've been sort of reorganizing doing some swatching and other bits and pieces but I've had all these ideas with glitters and decals and everything and and I think I've got a little bit overwhelmed by how fast my brain has been working because I'm not used to my brain working, I'm guessing. Um, and I sat down to do some nails yesterday and I was like, I don't know what to do. I've got all these ideas, but I don't know where to start. Um, I don't know which ones I want to do. I don't know what colours I want to use. So I had a bit of a moment and then I thought, I know what I'll do. So I texted my sister who was sat downstairs just because I couldn't be bothered to walk down and said, I can't think of what to do. Can you go online and find me a picture? And then I will, will recreate the set and put my own sort of twist on things. So she very kindly, because my sister is lovely, did. Um, and she sent me two. Now I'm gonna do one in today's video and then I'm gonna do another one, the other one at a later date. And I'm also gonna ask a couple of her friends to do the same for me and choose some designs so that I'm not choosing what I do. But this is the design I'm going to be doing today that she sent me. So, this is the set, uh, and this is by, uh, I think it's Votino, you say it. It's probably something completely different, but um, I will link the, their Instagram down below. Uh, and this is the set she has sent me. So, I am going to almost copy the design. I'm not actually going to do these white nails because they just make me think of Christmas jumpers. So I'm going to leave those out and I am going to change the colours because I've done a lot of purple lately uh, so I wanted to do something different. So that is what I'm going to be creating with a Cinder Helly Nails twist to it. Um, so let's get in to the action. So as always I'm using Clear Candy from Tim Gorgeous and for colours today I'm using Lauren's Wish and Feather Boa. Uh, so that's a peach and a sparkly peach and for a touch of glitter I've got Fairy Lights from Sonia Williams. Um, so I decided to change up the colours from the purples and do this really nice neutral natural looking set because my sister does, is not big into colourful nails and things, this is her kind of colours, so I thought that's how I would do it. So I'm starting off with Lauren's Wish, and as I said, this is a gorgeous sort of sparkly peach. It's really, really pretty, I just don't use it enough. Um, and I'm going to be doing a bit of an ombre on this nail, so I'm just uh, doing this sort of down the tip so from the nat what would be the natural free edge down to the tip just making sure I've got nice coverage uh, so it's all even uh, and then I'm just going to leave that to dry and then on or set dry set whatever you want to call it on this nail I'm just going to do a full nail of Lauren's Wish so starting at the cuticle um, just moving it around so I've got a nice neat line at the cuticle and then I'm just dragging it down the nail uh, and then I'm just going to go back where it's a little bit patchy and put a little bit more colour. Now Lauren's Wish is a coloured acrylic but as with all the or 90% of the coloured acrylics from Team Gorgeous they are strength powders so you could use this colour to just build the entire nail. But I much prefer to use my coloured powders as colours uh, and cap at the end. So that's why I've not built my structure here. Moving on to this nail and the pinky, I am going to be doing a sort of a glittery fade. So I'm starting off with Feather Boa and this is just a flat peachy colour. And I'm just starting that at the cuticle, exactly the same as how I did on the other nail, placing it at the cuticle, moving it around and sort of tucking it in so I've got a nice neat line. And then I'm just 
fading it down the nail. I'm not worrying about covering the entire thing because it's going to be have glitter at the end. Uh, and I just went back in where I felt it was a little bit patchy and needed a little bit more coverage. Now it's almost impossible on camera to see the difference between the two colours uh, and in fact even in real life the only difference between them is that Lauren's wish is sparkly. Um, so when I come to do the ombre on what is the middle nail now you're probably thinking it doesn't look like an ombre because the colours are so similar and you're right they are you just have to take my word for it. Uh, I just fancied it like I didn't want a whole nail of Lauren's Wish I just wanted it slightly different um, so in real life and up close you can see the change from the flat peach to the sparkly peach on camera it doesn't look quite like that um, so I'm just completing that nail getting making sure it's not patchy anywhere pale colors sometimes can be a little bit harder to work with I just find smaller beads just build the coverage up without adding bulk and once I was happy with that I am moving on to add the glitter and this is a beautiful sort of champagne -y fine glitter from Sonia Williams so it's actually from her Christmas collection uh, but again I thought it is my sister's sort of glittery colour um, and that is why I went for it uh, so I am just I started where that uh, feather boa finished and I'm just fading it down towards the cuticle don't want complete coverage just a nice fade and then I'm just small beads of wet acrylic dipping in to the glitter and then just bringing it down until I've got full coverage at the tip always patting it down keeping it nice and thin because it's all gonna have to be uh, encapsulated and capped so just a little bit more and I like to sort of swirl the glitter and the acrylic around with the tip of my brush to mix them together and then pat them into place. Um, it's quite hard to explain that but give it a bit of a smoosh up. Uh, I'm just adding a little bit more where I felt it needed it, making sure right to the very very tip and now I am just going in with clear candy and I am capping all of the nails. There is not much I can say about capping the nails, here is where I'm making sure I've got all the strength and the structure, I've got the apex, um, making sure all that glitter turns matte and then I know it is all um, properly encapsulated and then once they are all done I am going to file them into shape, refine the surface, make sure they are nice smooth and lovely uh, and I'm going to do all of that off camera and then we'll be back to decorate these nails. So all filed and shaped and buffed and now I'm just giving them a clean off with a lint free wipe and some cleanser. I do dust them first as well. And now using my Teen Gorgeous Hold Fast Glue and my Crystal Katana from Crystal Parade, I'm going to add a little bit of sparkly sparkleness uh, in the form of crystals. Uh, and again all my crystals are from Crystal Parade uh, as always and you can use my discount code HELEN5 to get you 5% off their website. So I'm using a mixture of sort of goldy crystals here uh, and I'm just doing a little bit of a design down the centre of the nail. So I've just started with a couple of round crystals and now I'm going in with this gorgeous gorgeous shape um, this was from I think it was the Cozy Dipes mix um, it came with two of these and I just thought it was perfect for this design and then I'm just going to continue adding little blobs of glue 
uh, and attaching crystals. I didn't really have any idea. I kind of I looked at the picture my sister gave. Uh, I knew I wanted something going down the centre of the nail, but I just sort of went with the flow. And with these bigger shaped crystals, I like to tuck little round ones just underneath slightly so there's no little gaps and to keep them in place a little bit more secure. Um, so I'm going to do a couple more around the cuticle, so a bit of a crystally tiara. And then that will be this nail done. And what I also did, but I didn't film it, I added just a few crystals dotted around the nail on the two with glitter, as you can see there. So I'm now going to top coat and I'm using my Flexi Top Gel on three of the nails and I'm using my Velvet Matte Top Coat on the other one. So there you can see those crystals I added, just, just a few. Um, it's a lovely effect, <laughs> but it's a bit of a pain when it comes to top coating because you have to really get your brush in and around the crystals without going over top of them. But as always, I have my little uh, detailer brush on hand so I can get right around all of those crystals and make sure it is nice and neat. This one was easy, just top coating that nail and then doing exactly the same on this one so just getting in and around the crystals what I would recommend if you were doing a crystal placement like that make sure the gaps between them are big enough to get your brush in <laughs> but I always have my detailer brush for doing top coat around crystals anyway because I like to get as close to them and then on this nail I'm using my velvet top gel which is the matte top coat from Team Gorgeous uh, I will get right up to all of those crystals without going over top of them and then I'm going to pop my hand in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds although the velvet one does only need a 30 second cure. Once they're out of the lamp and they're cooled I'm just decanting some of my top coat on a little glass tray and then using a striper brush uh, and it's important you use a no wipe top coat for this. Using a striper brush I'm just doing some sort of swooshy lines across the nail. So I'm going to cover the whole nail, but I'm leaving gaps in between, which hopefully you will see in a while. And you want to leave enough of a gap between that they don't sort of spread into one another. Um, I would have liked to have used maybe my one of my builder gels or my enhanced gels but they don't they're not tack free finish so that's why I use my top coat but one of the, something like that would be great if it was a tack free finish once those are done before I cure it I'm using that feather boa acrylic and I'm just tipping it over the nail and you just want to keep tipping and tipping and tipping because that wet top coat will absorb that acrylic in you just want to keep going even more just lightly tapping off the excess and then when you think when you've got it fully fully covered you're going to double cure that double cure so 120 seconds if it's a 60 second cure dust away all of the excess and that leaves you these matte textured lines across the nail once it's all cured and finished don't forget to go in with your top coat I love my Amoki nails as you do rub that in and that is this design complete so this is my inspired by given to me by my sister design I absolutely love it she chose really well but that is it that is this video finished so don't forget, as always, you can find all the links to the products used in the description box along with any discount codes. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye! Mwah.